Well, today we're going to be uh, talking about uh, explaining versus explaining away on this uh, Possible Worlds blog, video blog. You can uh, check it out at www.randyeverest.com. Um, but we're going to make this a short video, not a long one. So uh, we're just going to talk about what it means to explain something and what it means to explain it away. So there's a big difference between those two, and sometimes they're used interchangeably depending on whether or not we like the, uh, the thing that we're critiquing or discussing. So an explanation, it's something that accounts for the thing to be explained. It's a reason why X is such and such or whatnot. So we've got everyday examples like the explanation of the door opening is that I turned the knob and pushed, okay? Or purposeful or teleological examples like I went to hear the church service to hear the pastor speak. So what's the explanation for me going to church? To hear the pastor speak, that's the explanation. Pretty standard, straightforward, everyday stuff. We also have more philosophical or apologetics related examples like the explanation for why there's something rather than nothing is God. That's the answer to that famous question by Leibniz. That's a you know, theological, philosophical example uh, that you might run into. That's an explanation. Science operates in explanations all the time, trying to figure out why it is when you drop something, it goes to the ground on the Earth's surface. Well, it's because of gravity. Okay, so that's the explanation. All right, now, explaining away something, it involves some kind of reasoning or story, as it's sometimes put. It's a story. Um, carry that with no baggage, no one's saying it's like a story, like a fairy tale, but just a story that does away with or reduces to nothing or non-existence the thing to be explained. You also hear of it as uh, reductionism or reductivism. Uh, here's an example. Why did I see an oasis in the desert? Well, to explain it away is to point out that what you saw, the thing to be explained, that oasis in the desert, wasn't seen at all. It was a mirage. Um, that's explaining it away. You didn't. That you didn't. What, why did I see an oasis desert? Well, you didn't see anything. What actually happened is there was a mirage because you were dehydrated, and that's explaining it away. Astute viewers may realize that the mirage itself is an explanation for perception. Why did I perceive that there was an oasis? But it's not an explanation for physical sight. It's explaining away that physical sight. There wasn't even an oasis there. So that's explaining away. And so you'll notice that explaining away isn't always bad. Sometimes it makes sense because it actually serves as an explanation for something else. But there are more philosophical and theological considerations for explaining things away. Um, like, well, there is no intentionality. Things aren't about anything. Nothing has any purpose. There's no purpose in the world because there is no God or purpose. It only appears that there is intentionality. So you see how that's explaining it away? The thing to be explained, uh, things being about something, or intentionality, or purpose, those are the things to be explained. But instead of providing an explanation, the skeptic will say those things aren't there at all to be explained. They're being explained away. Now the same thing goes for morals. So some people, some skeptics will say, well, there are no moral values. There's really nothing that you ought to do because there is no God. So they're taking away what seems to be the case. It appears to us that there's morality, and they go ahead and they explain it away. Now, why is this difference between explaining and explaining away? Why does that matter? Well, first, it matters because of rhetorical considerations. I recently read a discussion about uh, Paul Copan. Uh, he wrote the guy, uh, the book called Is God a Moral Monster? Uh, it's a really good book. Uh, you don't have to agree with everything in it in order to appreciate it. It's just good. Well, it, the discussion was about how he explained away the Old Testament narratives that were difficult to deal with. Uh, that's how they used it, explained away. It's rhetorically powerful because then if your audience believes that the thing to be explained, those Old Testament narratives like the Canaanites, and if they believe that that you know, really happened, and you tell them that this guy is attempting to explain it away, well, then any explaining away would be rejected by that audience. So you're framing it in a specific way. So we, it's important to make sure we're, we're not artificially framing the issue. Second, it's, it, the distinction between explaining and explaining away is important because it affects how we treat um, alternate uh, explanations versus explaining away. It affects how we, how we treat the issue. If, uh, it, like, let's say you run into an atheist and the atheist says, you know what, 
I agree with you. If there is no God, then there's no objective moral values. And I don't believe in a God, so there's no objective moral values. I'm explaining it away. I'm saying, hey, there are no moral values. Well, we can approach it and say, really? You really think, you really perceive that there's no God stronger than you perceive by your rational intuition that there are moral oughts? Like, you really don't perceive that you ought not to kill a baby, you know, or strangle your grandmother or whatnot? I mean, there's, there's just some silly stuff like that. That's how you approach it. They're explaining it away. But there are some atheists who will say, well, you know what? I believe very strongly in objective moral values. I just don't think you have to have God. Here is my alternate explanation. And if it's an alternate explanation, you deal with it that way. If you just say, oh, you're explaining it away and ignore it, you're not going to convince anyone. So it's important to remember it affects how we treat the issue. And finally, it's important because a faithful reflection of your opponent's view is God-honoring. It's always better to be truthful and to be uh, honest, fair, uh, and sympathetic if we can be uh, to others' views and make sure that we're being accurate in representation. So remember, explaining is when you're offering some reason for the view. Explaining away is when you're saying, this view, it, it, doesn't, it has a false premise. The thing to be explained isn't even around. So just remember that and uh, check out Possible Worlds at www.randyeverest.com.